uh, as you can see, uh, in a bit of a rush here. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> go this way. It's not very easy uh, going like this. Uh, and welcome to the episode, I should say. Uh, obviously you know what's going to be happening this episode. Um, obviously it's time to start the... Come on. Start the Villager Breeder. And uh, i got to get this guy over there. This is actually the second time I've filmed this intro because I had problems with the first intro. But let's uh, skip out of that view and go into this view. Come on, my little friend. Now, I apologize because there's probably going to be a little pixelation over there. Because as I said, this is the second time I'm filming this. Uh, due to the fact the first time I've uh, got this guy, it didn't work. And I actually already built the thing we were going to start. You go away. That's it. That's it, my little friend. Come on. Here he comes. So, uh, yep, it's time to build the villager breeder. As I said, you're going to see some pixelation in a second. As uh, we approach the thing I've already built. Obviously, the villager breeder's already built. And uh, once this guy's in his little cage, we'll make a start on the actual video, because that's all gone fine. I just want this little guy to come with me. I'm on my little friend. You're almost there. No, no, make sure you come on the bridge. The bridge. That's it. Good boy. Well, boy, girl. I don't know. I don't know what you are. There we are. Up we go. Come in. That's it. Make sure you don't fall off this bit now. This is the bit that's dangerous. Oop. Come on. That's it. Very good. Keep walking. Yes, very good. Best not uh, trap him. Oh. There we go. Nice and safely in there. We're throwing this. We'll turn him into an actual villager in a bit. Uh, but now, <laughs> let's start the video. I will grab the other ones afterwards. And... Obviously, the track is going to lead up to the breeder itself. Hello. Hello. You're going to be made a villager, aren't you? <laughs> so let's start the video, guys. I am. Oh, it looks amazing. I'll just say that. The villager breeder looks amazing. And we'll carry on with the video. See you all in a minute. So that was a rather fast-paced uh, intro. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, rather scary. So one of them is over there named just chilling out and then uh, later on after the video or During the video when there's a downtime. I will go and uh, Get the other two so I need three pretty much and then uh, we can get on with this So this block here marks where we're going to start it uh, So that is the UFO there, so we're not far from that. So what we need to do first of all is I need to build a platform. Yes, I'm building a never rack. I want to get the main game mechanics sorted today. And then once I got the main game mechanics sorted today of the breeder, we will uh, continue on from there. So today all we're going to focus on is getting the breeder up and running. And probably at the end I'll try and do a time lapse of uh, building the surround. And uh, yes, I did bring my pickaxe. Uh, so what we're going to do now is, as I talk to you, I'm going to speed the video footage up a little bit. So uh, just so we can see me building this area here. And we need to make sure we do it evenly on either side. I <laughs> like even numbers. It's like uh, even on, uh, you know when you're changing the sound, it's a little OCD of mine. Is when you put the volume up, I can't have it on any other numbers apart from 0 and 5. So it's like, again, like with this, is that tower has to be 11 wide, so I accept that, and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I am just plain crazy when working things out. Uh, oh, yes, I also need to apologise for not releasing the uh, Whack-A-Mole game, or Whack-A-Creeper, as I'm calling it. Uh, I've... Work was a bit hectic over the weekend, but it's not the main excuse. Uh, the excuse is uh, once I put ninth. Everyone's heard of Whack-A-Mole, haven't you? It's basically where you smack um, these items will pop up. It's an old arcade game where 
you get these moles popping up or animated objects that would pop up. And I've gone too far. <laughs> animated objects would pop up. You would then hit them with a mallet. So I was recreating that game on here. And uh, basically, all I was doing was um, having armor stands jump out. Well, buying up from the ground. And then you would run around standing on the pressure plates to get the armor stands down. And then there'd be a counter that would count it. And then uh, you, that would be your score. And then it would also count how many times they popped up. Now, once I've done nine segments of that, uh, everything was running smoothly. Everything was working well. Everything was counting correctly. And then once I put the ninth segment in, um, yeah, the amount of block updates. I'm thinking it's the amount of block updates we're going on, uh, so I need to try and limit the amount of updates. Uh, literally reduce uh, my computer to two frames a second. Uh, so, yeah, not a great start for that game, but uh, I am going to work on it. I am going to improve it, uh, but... I might uh, do a quick video of it to show you um, what it's like, and then uh, I will continue to work on it. I, it just annoyed me when I was building it. I was just like, damn it! And then when I was going at two frames a second, it's crazy. Absolutely. It, but to be fair, it does look epic. And it's not very complicated. It, it uses the slime mechanic quite a bit, but... I like it's not complicated it should be easy if I can work out the um, the slowness part to it hopefully you can then build it on servers which is something I got planned on here is everyone you can build these shops because it's an economy server as I've probably explained to you before so if I type in balance right now you'll see that's how much money I've got so, but everyone's got shops, but me and Guru want to do it slightly differently. We don't want a shop. Well, we might get a shop eventually, but what we're planning on doing is um, building a park. And then uh, all the rides and games, there'd be like these token stands around the park, which you would pay for these tokens. Then to access the games and the rides, you would place your token into a chest. It will then register and then the game will activate or the ride will activate. And then uh, what will happen to those tokens then that you used on the rides will automatically get cycled back into the uh, token chests. So should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to that bit. But obviously uh, to start it off we need to come up with some games. And then as we got the games uh, we will then open the park. And on here we can set up rand uh, wild warps and random warps etc. So then uh, people can just go to the spawn area and then teleport then to the actual park. I think it'd be something a little different. It'd be a little bit of fun. And uh, I think it'd be different to those. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. So this would be the main doorway. Uh, I don't think we should lead straight in. I think we're coming a little bit. Right there. Now I'm going to try something a little different. Uh, we've got the packed ice because where the actual breeding chamber is it's going to be a little higher up but I don't particularly want to keep climbing a ladder to actually f provide them with food so what I was thinking is doing a quick item elevator down here which will then uh, drop it off at the top there for them so let's uh, work that out now so that's the entrance so that's going to be the area one two three four let's We'll do one corner here. I've got some chiseled quartz. I like my chiseled quartz. There we go. And then we put some packed eyes here. Then we will put that there. Now it goes like so. There. And then we need a bit of glass here. So we put the glass there. And then around the back here, we go block, block, block. And then we put our two posts here. There we are. So what we do then is we would come along here and we would just uh, chuck it straight in and the food would be carried up and straight into the breeding chamber. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a quick jump cut uh, just to get to the stage of building this elevator and doing the breeding chamber. And then uh, we'll carry on from there then. Alright, I'll be right back. 
So here is the item elevator. I've done this wall as well. I'll explain what that button does in a second. So if we chuck some melon in here. There we go. See how it's rising up? There we are. Floating along. And then if we go up here. This whole design is based on Nunary Bit, I believe his name is. Um, uh, his video is great. And um, every done, he has done a world download and it is amazing it's really helped with this so there's the melons and then where that dispenser is that is going to dispense water for ease of breeding and then the villager heads should be able to reach the food to feed themselves and then that's just how they should breed up here so that is the spawn uh, breeder bit done and then we go, the next bit we got to do is the actual platform for the breeders to stand on. Which, can I do it from here? Nope, that's the wrong area. Let's go down here. So, that block there. That's it. So, this is where the villagers are going to stand. Uh, and then the water will dispense. That's what that button does there. It dispenses water up here. So now what we gotta do is once the villagers have bred on this block, we want obviously the baby villagers to vamoose. So we want them to disappear. And I believe it's gonna be that one. So if we do that. Now on this server, so be careful of your servers. Um you you gotta be careful of breeding uh, so like on here there is a breed limit of 25 per five block radius uh, so what we're gonna do is we'll have 20 villagers here on this spawning platform and then as they bred the water here is gonna carry them at least five blocks away where they will grow up and then as they grow up they will rise up in a chamber and then they will slide across to a chamber where I can gain access to them with a minecart and then that we can then sort them out into the sorting system. So that is the plan. So what we need to do now is that's going to trap them in here. There we are. So they won't be able to go. The reason why I'm doing the majority of this construction in glass is I would like to see it as it happens because uh, I'm very much a fan of seeing. <laughs> right, so if I... oh. Now this is going to be difficult, isn't it? Have I got another rack on me? No. Hmm. Let's just jump down. It's not far. <laughs> so then what we need to do is we need to sort the water chamber rates. I've got some ladders here, so... And the other thing we've got to do as well at some point is from that there, which we might actually do now. Have I got enough cobble on me? Because I saw cobble in there. Is... In order for this to work, there needs to be a village a bit. Uh, so, seven blocks up from there. So, one, two. Oh, redstone torch. Sometimes my uh, mouse likes to do funny things. How many blocks is that? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this block here is actually where we are going to um, place our little villager who needs access to daylight. And then he's the one who pretty much controls everything. So that's that. So we'll get up there in a bit and do it. So one of those villagers that's over there is going to go up here. The other two is going to go down here. The thing I'm going to do as well is we need to work off a... Because the reason why I'm going one extra wider here is I want to lock off this area. So, like, if uh, the plugging culls any of the uh, villages in here, at least then you'll be able to um, rebreed them in there without them going off, the little ones running off for a bit. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the this part done and the transportation tubes done. So, then I'll, we'll do a little jump cut here. Oh, I am angry. I am angry. Well, you all know that I want Mrs. Boomtown to be a charged creeper. So I've gone back over there because it's thundering and lightning. And then I noticed a flash over here. And look, there we go. Right. 
lightning struck this point. Why? Why do you hate me? <laughs> oh, how annoying. Damn it. Oh, I do like lightning, though. Alright, onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. So that's the next bit done. Now yeah, what I was thinking is we have to come out, so the baby villagers are going to end up in there and then when they grow older they'll float up and then I was thinking of separating it. And so we're going to have a little stream coming out, so there'll be a gap along here and then it'll drop them down into another little cubicle here which is where the rail's going to go in and out to get them. Let's just take a look at the top. There we go. So the villagers will all be bouncing around. The baby villagers will pop out at the side here. They will go into this little chute here. I've done another little drop here. And then they will go around the corner. And I can't remember if this glass has to be here or not be here. So I will have a look at the tutorial again. And then we'll go from there. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to do the next segment. Again, it's going to be a little jump cut and then a time lapse at the end. What I was thinking in the centre here is I might change some of these blocks as eight for glowstone so you can see them as they're going along. Probably make it a little clearer for you. So, all right, off we go to do the next little jump cut. I'll see you in a minute. There we go. So that is where the adults will grow. So if we drop down here, so the babies grow up here in this little hole here. And then when they're old enough, they'll start jumping up and down. And then they will go up here. Get pushed along like this. And then they will fall into here. And this is where the we can pick them out. And then we'll select them. And then we'll ship them off to where we're going to store them. So that is actually almost the basics of the villager breeder, Dennis. So only the beautification that's left to do. Uh, so that should all be hooked up. There we go, so that works. Now what we have to do is uh, get our villagers sorted, I suppose. So we'll go and, I'll go and convert to, and then we'll get the other one done. And then we have to bring them up here. Did I remove the ladders off this? So one has to go up here. Once he's up there, I'll place the doors in. So what we got left to do is not very much. It's just the beautification and uh, getting some villagers over here. So. And what I'm going to do now is this is going to be a fairly large jump cut because we're running out of time a little bit. Because obviously I want to do a time lapse at the end to actually build the structure around this. But we are almost at that. <sighs> I look at my tower and I'm just like, ah. i still got to decide how I'm going to collect it all up there. But I've done a little shaping up there. Well, we'll see how that goes. All right. So let's uh, get on with uh, doing the villager. I'll probably bring you back when I'm about to bring the last villager in. I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty. So there it is. That's it all tidied up. And now we should have some zombies already converted in here now. I just have to redo my intro. Um, yeah. I left uh, the glass pane in. Well, I, I forgot the zombies can burn, so... While well, they were in there, well, the one burnt, so then I had to redo it all, recapture them, redo it all. Let's go see. I can hear villagers, so we should be safe. Are you a villager? Yeah, what villager are you? Hello? We've got a shepherd, we've got a brown coat, yay! What are you? A leather worker. And two leather workers? <laughs> Hello. Wow, you guys were seriously unlucky then when you guys got uh, turned. Right. Now, hopefully this will work in a second. I can remove these. There we go. He's on his little stand there. Now, this one should, in theory, go up there. So let's just uh, test this. Oh, did I leave that block over there? I think I left a block on top of the thing. I think I did leave a block over the gap. Oh, almost fell down then. 
<sighs> oh yes, yes I did. Right. So let's get these guys up into where they need to be. And I was uh, going to go into the time lapse, but uh, I think we're going to save that for the next er episode for beautifying this. Because I want to actually also, the junction area has got to go in and I can't work it out. Oh, I'm struggling to figure out the size a minute, so we'll save that for the next video. So this is actually going to be the outro is once we stuck all these guys in. So we're going to well, probably, once I got that first one in, we'll do a time lapse of the rest of it. There we go. Let's, yeah, come on. Run. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Boom. Right. Hopefully this shall work. So, you lined up. Yep. Whoop. And he goes. Bye. Let's make sure he goes in there. So he's off in a hurry. Oh, <laughs> luckily that just glitched because uh, I was getting slightly worried when I saw him just stood on the track. And then uh, zoom off. There he is. Oh, you're not in your hole. Shouldn't be any glass over the hole, is it? Let's try this. Oh, you've gone slightly too far, have you? Okay, hang on then. In your hole. Get in the hole. Nope. Okay, I'm going to struggle here with the hole. Uh, have I got my clippers on me? Yes, I do. Go down here. Alright. Go on. In your little hole. Oh. Don't. Go on. In. In. <sighs> it's never as easy, is it? I should have put a block at the end so it hit the box and then. Go on. In. There. You're in. Nice. Now let's go grab the other one. Well, that did not go to plan. No sorry. Right. Uh, this is the last bit. So we'll place the doors in. This should have created a village, hopefully. And there we go. So that should mean the village breeder is now working. Well, I'm hoping, anyway. So this guy now can detect that he's in a village. So, I've been Ghostman, and I love you lots, and thank you for watching. So next time, we are going to do the junction and the sorting system. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.